Dante's hell isn't fiction. It's prophecy. Xin chào Vietnam. It's Ron Howard and Tom Hanks. Xin chào Vietnam. <laughs> we want to invite you to see our latest movie, Inferno. On the October 28th, uh, it's, which is around the corner. <laughs> Uh, what is your most challenging in a film movie and how do you come over it? The, look, the, I think the most challenging aspect these days is, is addressing the marathon labor that making a movie is. You know, you have to make room for your lives in these things. You can't just go off and bat them off and an actor gets to work three months, a director has to work the better part of really two years, yeah. don't you think, in order to make it happen. And that's and the, the three months is just the shooting. There's plenty of other stuff that goes in it. Uh, the, the, I think the thing I've learned over time is, is that you do have to be all in <laughs> on, on making a movie. And um, the, the all in means, you know, completely all encompassing. You don't have a lot of room for other things that are going on in your life if you're, if you're working every day. So the most, the most challenging aspect of, of this job is making sure that you have dedicated that 100% of getting the job done. So one of the main themes of the movie is of overpopulation and birth control, which are very practical. And some of the readers are even agree with the villain's plan. So what do you two say about this? That's part of the excitement of the story, is that it is a very controversial idea today. This doesn't deal with the past, it's of the moment. And that makes our thriller much more modern. It makes the controversy, I think, uh, you know, all the more uh, vivid and compelling. And yet the movie still has the action, the thriller elements, the puzzle solving, and the clue path that we love from Robert Langdon. Well, Ron, do you think if and we will separate as two last movies? And what is your secret formula to make Dan Brown's fan love huh. The uh, uh, Based on our test screenings, People are really responding very well to Inferno, and they think it's 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 uh, you know it's 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 equal to or better than the other movies, which is very uh, satisfying for me. I really like how modern and contemporary this movie is. It also doesn't rely on having seen the other two. It's its own standalone story featuring Robert Langdon, with, and and we we learn more about Robert Langdon than we ever have before. But I also think it's a faster pace. Even Hans Zimmer's music is a little more contemporary and cooler, so I like the fact that it's a different, it's a different tone. I didn't really, each movie, I don't think about the next sequel with, Don, with the Dan Brown movies. I look at them as individual story opportunities. They still have a chance to save the world. Humanity is the disease. Inferno is the cure.